break-even analysis, also known as CVP analysis. Break-even analysis looks at how much a company needs to sell in order to cover its costs. Let's pretend that we make and sell spaceships. Our spaceships sell for $1,000 and our variable cost to produce those spaceships is $600 each. Total fixed costs are $200,000. Fixed cost per unit is not a necessary calculation. Let's assume that we sell 600 spaceships during the year. A cost volume profit income statement separates our costs between variable costs and fixed costs and shows us that with sales of 600 units, our net income would be $40,000. Break-even analysis asks the question, what does our sales need to be in order for our net income to be zero? When we calculate the break-even point, we have to remember that within the relevant range, our fixed costs remain constant, but as our sales increase, our variable costs also increase. Our break-even point occurs when our sales revenue is equal to our total cost. In order to find the break-even point, First, we need to analyze the difference between our sales and our variable costs, which is our contribution margin. We can calculate our contribution margin for each spaceship that we sell. If our sales price is $1,000 and our variable costs are $600, then our contribution margin is $400. Contribution margin is the amount remaining from each sale to cover fixed costs and eventually profit. Now that we know our contribution margin, we can divide our total fixed cost by our contribution margin per unit to determine that we need to sell 500 spaceships to break even. Now we can go back to our CVP income statement and check our answer. If we sell 500 spaceships, our revenues will be 500,000 and our variable costs will be 300,000. Our fixed costs won't change, which means we will break even. But what if we want to find our contribution margin in terms of dollar sales? Well, if we go back to our contribution margin, we can take our contribution margin and divide it by our sales price to get our contribution margin ratio. The contribution margin ratio then is 40% for our spaceships. This means that for each $1 in sales, 40 cents is left over after variable costs to cover our fixed costs. We can then take our fixed costs, divide them by our contribution margin ratio, and that will also tell us that we need 500,000 in sales to break even. This technique is great for when you are looking at sales for a period of time or in total rather than looking at individual products. Let's look at some data for our rocket ship line. We can calculate the contribution margin ratio for our rocket ships as 48% without knowing the individual prices. If we want to know the break-even point for our rocket ships, we can take the total fixed cost and divide them by our contribution margin ratio to determine the break-even point. We can then go back to our CVP income statement and check our work to find that we did calculate the correct break-even point. And now let's review our two methods for finding our break-even point. You can use either the contribution margin per unit to find the number of sales units needed or the contribution margin ratio to find the dollar sales needed to break even.